let's talk potholes. With summer finally here, the blizzards of last winter probably seem like a lifetime ago, but they left their mark on our city streets and crews will be out all summer erasing the damage. No doubt about it, our roads took a beating with the 2006-2007 blizzards and snowstorms. Now it's up to city crews to patch them up again. Street Superintendent Dave Katecki says potholes fall into two categories. We had some two inch type uh, rough uh, potholes, uh, rough streets, and then we had some deep potholes that were, were rather serious. Weather permitting, city crews can usually fix a pothole within 24 hours of either finding it or hearing about it. When the pothole is considered dangerous, the city responds the same day or even during the night. Two or three crews a day have been at it since the first of the year. In January, we repaired 2,400 potholes, and in February, about 2,500 potholes, and that has tapered off now. There are two ways to patch a pothole, cold patch, and hot patch. In January and February, the heavy lifting fell mostly to cold patch. It has advantages even though it's more expensive, says Dave. It's about $95 a ton compared to $40 a ton for hot mix asphalt. The city buys cold patch in five or 10 ton loads and keeps it on hand at the city shop. It's a sticky mix. It is actually a good patching mix if it is put down in dry conditions, which was not the case in January and February. So some of our cold mix patches had to be replaced uh, maybe a couple times even. But hot patch isn't always available from the companies the city must buy it from. And sometimes it isn't right for the job. They aren't making it all the time, uh, especially in the winter. And uh, uh, it does not uh, st uh, stick in, um, in, in some of the smaller holes very well. Hot patch can be a more permanent solution for some jobs, though. A hot mix patch, we will actually saw cut the pavement, uh, remove asphalt, and put in a material that then we compact, and it will be a permanent smooth patch. Still, cold patch often does the job. The year before last, 90% of cold patch jobs held up well and did not need replacing. This year is different. A lot of our cold mix patches were placed when the pavement was still frozen, when there was water still frozen in the hold, but we still needed to uh, do the patch to keep it uh, from being a dangerous condition. So we had quite a few of those kind of patches, and we have some of them that we've patched several times now, and they're very rough. But I would say this year, probably maybe only uh, maybe 50% of our cold mix patches are, are uh, in decent enough condition to leave for the rest of the year. That means a lot of road work this summer. A spaghetti map full of it, in fact. Some will be patched and others resurfaced. We have several major streets, Kipling, south of 58th, that is going to require major work. We had that planned for this year anyhow, but we were not expecting the deterioration that we saw after our, our winter storms. Kipling is a priority project. Other streets scheduled for resurfacing will also get some attention as needed while awaiting their full facelift. We don't want to uh, uh, spend a lot of our uh, time and, and money on streets that are going to be resurfaced, but we will be making them safe and drivable. Residential streets, too, will get needed repairs as street crews spread a little TLC on our roadways all throughout the summer months. To report a pothole, call 720-898-7723. Leave the location of the pothole and whether it's in the north, south, east, or westbound lane of the street. Also your name and phone number in case crews need more information. Some roads such as Wadsworth or Sheridan are handled by the state. You can call the Colorado Department of Transportation at 303-757-9011. And remember, when you see road crews, please slow down and give them a little space.